Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as a seller, you try and uh, maximize your total revenue or your marginal revenue? Neither. Really? What are we trying to maximize as a seller? Profits. profits. Okay, so profits. So, we can't tell by looking here what's the profit maximizing level of output and price. <laughs> but we can eliminate some possibilities, right? Look here. At this point on, marginal revenue is falling, right? So if I keep cutting price to sell more units, my revenues are actually falling. But as I'm selling more units, I'm having to produce those more units. So what's happening to my costs? It's going up. The costs are going up and my revenues are going down. That doesn't sound like a good thing that's happening to my profits there, right? My costs are going up and my revenues are going down. My profits are going down. So a monopolist is never going to keep cutting price so that their revenues are negative. But we don't know which one of these is best. Okay. <coughs> so by the way, way back to chapter 6, here in this portion of the demand curve, price is falling and revenue is rising. So is demand elastic or inelastic there? <laughs> price is falling and revenue is rising, so price is moving in the opposite direction of, as revenue that's elastic, right? Price and, and revenue